Hey, good morning and welcome to another edition of, yeah, another Patriot Radio News Hour. I'm Eric Cedarstrom on this third day of April 2020 in the year of our Lord. And this show is brought to you by the Patriot Trading Group. They offer something that doesn't have earnings, something that doesn't have hours, something you don't have to wait in line to get because it shows up right in your mailbox. You can call 1-800-951-0592 and find out what that is. Or you can also go out to All American Gold 24-7-365, allamericangold.com. Updated daily with news to comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable, which uh, hard to say which side of the, of the aisle you fall down there, but uh, definitely strange. Things are very fluid in this country. Things are changing fast. I, uh, we normally do Jack Daniels Friday um, because it is so valuable now. And believe it or not, big shortage coming. So the same thing that has had, Joe had it on the table. He just pulled it back. The, 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 the problem is, is the same thing is happening to some, some of the alcohol that's happening to toilet paper. So strange goings on. Good morning, Joe. How are you doing? Eric, good morning. I'm going to tell you right now, the food stamp checks are starting to go out, so I I would expect you're going to see another wave here at the grocery stores uh, coming up. Before we get too far... Oh, the SNAP. Yeah, the The SNAP. The people that are on food stamps get to go in and buy. They got their bailout. Um, The SNAP, yeah. So if you have a MasterCard, you know, they just reload it for you on the first day of the month or... And Whatever. all the new unemployment people are now getting them and this all of morning, those. This morning, Fox, they don't know what they do, you know. So the bubble-headed bleach blonde comes on at 5 that will tell you about the plane crash with a twinkle in her eye, says, the SBA is open and they're making loans. They've made two, what, what does she say, $2.1 million in loans to 700 people. That was this morning. I did the math. What, everybody's getting $3,000? <laughs> This is for business. I think businesses might need a little bit more than two point one million dollars. So, if you're waiting for your bank, that they're doing a Schultz, okay? They're doing the Schultz. We know nothing. They don't know. I mean, yesterday the IRS had up, and we had a customer, Rodney, call me, and he said his daughter just did it. I went. I went to IRS.gov, and I looked at it, and IRS.gov had a picture of a check. You know, regular check, like in your yeah, checkbook? Well, people don't know what these numbers on the bottom of their checks mean. So so what are they? The so they have the routing number and the account number. Those are the two numbers at the bottom of your check. Okay, the so. routing number tells you what bank. And, and then the account number says, okay, routing number, send it to this bank, and then put it into this account. Right. So they had a picture of that going, enter that. And I don't know, by the time... I looked at I told my daughter, my daughter, she's classic, 30 years old. They have a landscape pool company. I mean, the HOAs won't let them in. The earnings have stopped. They got two children. And the, these are who the people that need these things. They need this stuff. And uh, young families. So by the time I texted it to her and opened it up again, it was gone. Yeah. And they realized they can't do that. So if you enter your checkbook and your, your wiring account, your, your Social Security number, they were going to send the stimulus. Just like that. So that was how you were going to get it. Now that's gone. So now that has changed. So this is, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to do it. They don't run businesses. They don't understand it. You have to understand that. One thing that amazed me when we got the, uh, we got the Obama audit, which was, you know, anyone who had the name Patriot or, you know, Free Republic or any, any that had the quote unquote right wing names in their businesses. Got the audit. You forget those days. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot, boy. Oh, yeah. So we got the full lifestyle audit. And the one thing that amazed me is how uneducated we went through a cacophony of auditors, you know, because they went, it was a year and a half audit and they went through everything. And and what amazed me is how much smarter my accountant was than they were because they were mostly young kids. These are government entry-level employees. Now, granted, I mean, I'm not sticking my head in the tiger's mouth. I'm sure there's a lot of sharp, sharp IRS agents, but for the most part, the, 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 the army that they set out was young, young people, and not that we did anything wrong and we got through it just fine, but you have to understand that the government employees, you know, they get their liberal arts degree and they get a job with the government, and wherever they land, they don't, they've never run businesses. That's the point. 
They've never run businesses, and they don't understand what what companies need to survive. So they had a ten thousand uh, dollar grant that's available to anybody with an EIN, even if you had a small business. Without an EIN and you entered your social security number and you put your bank account information, you have a business commercial bank account, they said this was Tuesday, within three days you were going to have a $10,000 loan. And as far as I know, not where it is three days later, I doubt if any of them are deposited. But again, you had to give them your ABA number and your account number. So, and that's out there. You can find that. Go to sba.gov. And you can find the ten thousand dollar grant. So everybody gets ten grand just for having a business. So and do they need it? Yeah, everything is stopped. I don't think people understand. But now Fauci can't understand why they can't get people to sit still. Yes, he's all perplexed about it. So they want to order a nationwide stay at home order. Now that's that's being floated right now. And as I told you here, as I told you here, and I hate being right all the time. I don't think you're going to be able to get into you know any of the necessary businesses such as golf courses, <laughs> stores, the things that are still open out here. You're going to have to have a mask. I mean, I really think that's coming. Well, I'm going to they're not right going now, to let you I, in. I will so. be very surprised if by Monday New York uh, parts of mandatory right, mandatory mask wearing in, in the outbreak areas, Louisiana. By the way, New York. 400 dead already today, a new record high. It's starting to grow here. These these horrible several weeks that the president was warning us about is just starting now. We'll be back right after the break. Patriot Radio News Hour. Don't touch that. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Patriot Radio News Hour. Just a couple of uh, updates here. We are pretty much all caught up here. Uh, the metals program shipping has already started. I'm going to ask a favor of everyone. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, calling for tracking numbers and all of those things. It's extremely busy in here. Uh, all of the metals programs will be completed, and you know, and all of you know, we have uh, gosh, so many people in this program. We can't bring everybody to the post office at once. They just won't allow us to go in that way. Uh, by by this time next week, all the metals programs will have shipped. Uh, shipping has already started uh, in the in the metals program. So just I shipped them myself. I shipped the first wave myself. Been a the, long time. Yeah, so. the twenty one. That's right. You were shipping yesterday. The twenty one Morgans, the Peace Dollars. They've arrived here in Phoenix. They've all gone out. Uh, Colorado is getting theirs today. It, it's not going to be till end of day. So don't bother Jason. Jason will will call you when they're in. Uh, so, Colorado folks, be ready to, to pick those up. And, again, I want to remind everybody, please, 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 uh, make it brief. And we're asking, you know, that you just come in by yourself and in and out. You know, let's just, uh, you know, what, what, whatever this thing is, whatever you believe or not believe, let's err on the side of caution and, and be in and out. And I know a lot of times people want to hang out and talk and do this and that and it's just a weird time, so we're asking if you uh, to for your understanding in this and and just know. Come this. in with a mask. Yeah, if you got yeah. one, come in with one on. So, Joe, you know, believe it or not, that we're doing our our, our part in the country. Joe wearing a mask can only improve his looks. Okay, <laughs> so you know, do do what you can. So, I, I hate to do this, I hate to say it, but I don't know. I mean, we are where here in Arizona, we are where New York was a month ago. Now, I did some numbers and. You know, we like numbers. Joe's a great numbers guy. One of the reasons I was attracted to him when Sarah brought him home. It wasn't my good looks. No, <laughs> we just got along good. And Joe understood numbers. He's quick with them. And I did the birth death model for the United States. So the birth death model is 860 people per one per 100,000 die every year in this country, according to the government. Okay. So, so if you have 7 million people in New York – or 
Save it, Arizona. We have seven million. New York City has seven million people. The state of Arizona has seven million. Of course, we have a lot more illegals, I think, than them. But maybe not. I don't know. You know, so that they don't count them. By the way, the reason they're not counting them now is the census was Wednesday. It Holy started what? Wednesday. So the census now is pretty much a is that, moot point. Is that on hold? Was the country coming apart? You think they'll ever have a census? Maybe that'd be they'll hire everybody for God knows how much. But again, forget the masks. I'm telling you, we're heading to the spacesuit generation. And it's becoming painfully obvious, and I know you don't want to hear this, and I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it's becoming painfully obvious that being shut down till the end of April may not accomplish what they want to do. So here in Arizona, the half the state is in absolute denial. Denial. Now, I admit I'm 61, almost I'll be 61 my next birthday. Um, my immune system is probably a little bit compromised from having uh, the whole right side of my rib cage busted to smithereens, which the emergency room sought three. I think I have five very painful spots. I think I broke five ribs. So uh, it makes it really hard to breathe, you know, for a long time. I was really worried I was going to get sick. If you don't do your breathing exercises, then you get pneumonia. And so, I mean, I think I'm through all that. It still hurts to breathe a little bit. But, you know, I, I'm, I got coronaphobia, which I think is the word, is the word. So, I mean, I put an orange tape out here. I mean it. Don't come in here. A guy came in, sat in the radio studio, love him, great customer. These are different times that we live in. Practice it. I think, you know, Bill Gates, Bill Gates wants to just shut everything down. I mean, ultimately, when he gets his own cities, the smart cities, but let me tell you, he's not alone. Fauci's talking about it. The president is talking about it. Now they're talking about enforcing it through, of all things, of all things, Google. Google, and this, again, is right out of idiocracy. You can be driving down the road, and Google will shut off your Tesla because you are violating the travel restrictions. They know where your store is. They know where you go back and forth. They know where it is. They're going to allow you that. And Google may actually send you, they may actually partner with them and track people's movements. It's getting a little bit well, creepy out listen, there. Listen, I'm, I'm just going to say it this way. You know, they, they talk about China and they talk about South Korea, Italy, France, Greece, you know, Spain, blah, 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 blah. All of these countries did the exact same thing which is complete and total shutdown. Now, China didn't shut down the whole country. They just shut down half of it, which was 780 million people. We're, we're trying not to do that. And, and I don't know that we can have success not doing that. Well, I don't know either. And, and of course, here they're in denial. People want to move. they got to shut down Sedona. I-17 is so busy. People are driving around going, let's go find some coronavirus, shall we? I mean, they're actually putting their heads in the tiger's mouths in denial. Why? Because the sun is shining and the birds are singing, and we're not going to get it because we don't live on top of each other. And that is the issue. China, Wuhan, you know, boom, these factories, they, 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 they put people in uh, corporate housing like pigeon coops. Okay, you got the same thing in Italy. Everybody's stacked on top of each other. They all hug and kiss yeah, each other. Yeah, but that doesn't explain New Orleans. Well, it doesn't explain New Orleans. Well, they, you know... Urban streets kind of packed up. Maybe everybody got it from being all Does it crammed explain in. Washington? Let me tell you, if you get coronavirus because you wanted to earn some beads, <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> so, so here they're saying we're in denial because we're a lot more open. We don't live stacked up on top of each other. I hope, I hope that is the case. And the sun is shining and it's getting warmer. So, if that is the case, then. Obviously, we're not going to get there. But even if we do, so if you've got 860 deaths per 100,000, this is my no, not these are not my numbers. Look them up. These are the government birth death models in a year. So 100 out of 100,000 people, 860 die. Number one killers are cancer and heart disease. So that's 60,200 per year in New York. So that's what uh, that's 5,000 a month in the state. In the state, yeah. the whole state the of whole New state. York. So when you look at the at the deaths that they're having, when you break it down, they mu they it's, it still doesn't make any sense. The numbers should be a lot higher than where they are. Well, they're going a lot higher. Well, we'll see. Four hundred dead so far just today. Today, in yeah. New York. So. Uh, the the death rate now uh, is up to two point five four percent 
Uh, so when we – I started tracking this death rate, and, I, and people say, well, they're throwing everything into corona. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, a week ago, this time last week, it was 1.7%. We're now at 2.54%. Uh, we'll watch it. Today is going to be a record uh, for cases. Today is also going to be a record for deaths. Uh, we, we're waiting for all the other uh, states to start reporting, but New York, a, a almost a doubling of deaths in New York from yesterday to today. A lot of things in denial. Gold and silver markets in denial. Everybody, I mean, they're all trying to say we're going to – Everything's just going to come out normal at the other end. I mean, well, you know, gold's up again today, up another eight bucks, sixteen forty-five. Dow's down what five hundred? Uh, yeah, or Dow's down between four and five hundred, four hundred and fifty points today. Job, uh, the government jobs number was out today, and here's what was so funny is is and they were right all morning long. They were saying, hey, listen. The jobs number isn't going to reflect the full boat of coronavirus because they take the sur- – it's a survey. It's not an actual number because, you know, we, we, we got computers, but we don't like to use them. Uh, but they do this the first two weeks of March, which a lot of the lockdowns hadn't even happened yet. This is how fast this has happened uh, when we think about where we're at today. They were expecting a number of about – uh, minus 100, uh, 150,000 CNBC, the estimate, the average estimate was only down 10,000. It came down, lost 701,000 jobs. Uh, the unemployment rate went to 4.4%. Uh, so but when you look at the unemployment numbers and all of those things, we've got another 9,300,000 jobs to lose. I, I, I cringe to think what April's number is going to be. It's it's outrageous, the numbers we're talking about. You know, when's the last time you heard, hey, we, we lost 8 million jobs on the government survey? I mean, th- these numbers are unheard of. Very sad. It isn't anybody's fault. Well, we don't know maybe, whether it's been a bioweapon or whatever, but the people that are caught in the crossfire here, it could be economic biggest economic disaster obviously ever in the history of the world but uh, ultimately i'd like to believe as america we're going to get through it but the only thing that's happening is now everybody who uh who uh was you know I'm against everything you. is now wanting socialism they all want a government check looting everybody started, wants to get the in. looting has started it's <laughs> coming these gotta people got to have money. They got to have money. They got to get it out. I told you they are going to have to put cash trucks out or something for the the, the illegals who don't have, or they're going to just have to let them file. You know, I have no social security number. My name's Pedro Garcia. I need money. Bang. You know, send it Western Union. I don't know. You know, people think that Bitcoin is going to be the way they're going to distribute money. I'm here to tell you it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Everybody thinks, well, the Fed's going to team with Bitcoin. The Fed is already moving money everywhere they need to go. Plus, the Fed can't do it. The Fed cannot partner with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's an offshore entity. And only the Treasury, only only money that can be used in the continental United States that is recognized as money, look up your constitution, you got to have constitutional money. It can't be a private company. Do you understand that? So get that thought out of your head. Now, not to say they can't distribute money, and they may use the platforms. The government will steal the platforms. Make no mistake about that, but... Trust me, the Fed ain't taking on any partners. It's not happening. It's just not going to happen. So forget that deal. So trade Bitcoin if you want. Do what you want. It's the electronic gold. But here's the difference. Oh, my Bitcoin doubled. I'm going to sell it. So you sell it. The exchange goes, look at this, man. You got a lot of money in your account. Can you please wire that money to me? Uh, call us in an hour. We'll let you know. Pretty soon people quit answering the phone. You can't have them just hammer exchanges. Everybody triples their money. They all call the exchange going, okay, send me the money. They're like, you know, they're gone. Just doesn't work that way. Don't forget the guys running the exchanges all got Ferraris, expensive women on the side, you know, vacation homes. They have it all. They've been successful. They've been fleecing the public for a long time. Very few people do that with a uh, sense of uh, frugality, trust me. And another thing. And another thing. You guys tune in. Are you having fun so far? It's a great day to be alive, isn't it? You, how many people wake up in the morning going, is this a dream? Please tell me this is a bad dream and my country is not just slipping into the ashes and I'm the same way. Our competitors, people are taking orders for product that doesn't exist. And you don't understand. This is an unregulated interest, industry. So if you find someone online and you order, and you're like, oh, well, I'll stop payment on the credit cards. They're not going to let you do that either. You send checks. 
They don't have to ship anything. And just because you ordered what you thought you were going to get doesn't mean that's what you're going to get. So be very careful. Everybody who's ever ordered from this country for a quarter century has got exactly what they ordered. So we don't go, oh, well, you know, I ordered 10 silver dollars, da, 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 I sent you a check for 5200 and what you get back is an MS-70 $5 buffalo nickel. <laughs> That's all we had, sir. But you told me I was going to get this. Well, you're not getting it. This is what you get. Read the fine print. We can fill the order with anything we want. This is unlicensed, unregulated industry. Be very, very careful. one 800 951 Zero five nine two Jack Daniels Friday. We don't drink it. It's disappearing. We're spraying around the room now, and I think we're going to go to we're going to start CBD oil Friday. <laughs> going to be like, wow, dude. <laughs> it can only help me. You know, a guy yesterday said the uh, the remake. They were talking about remaking the movie Forrest Gump, and they were going to change the line. Life is like going to the grocery store. You never know what you're going to (laughs) get. I mean, that's what's getting creepy. I talked to a few people out there, and I don't want to propagate any any fear issues, so I'm not going to say any more. But the Google thing, get this. So Google now is releasing new data about how the coronavirus pandemic has cut down on foot traffic to transit centers, but their mobility reports are going to be posted publicly online so they can find out where... They can publicly show where people are moving. You could be disgraced. You could be held up in front of your HOA and disgraced. Halftime. We'll be back. This is the Phyllis Schlafly Report, a daily broadcast from Phyllis Schlafly Eagles, a national volunteer organization founded by Phyllis Schlafly and continuing to uphold her legacy by honoring family values, opposing radical feminism, and representing a conservative perspective in our nation's capital. Now the president of Phyllis Schlafly Eagles, Ed Martin. There are a few silver linings to the train wreck that occurred when Democrats tried to remove President Trump from office via impeachment. His approval rating quickly blew past President Obama's rating at that point in his presidency. Over the course of the impeachment debacle, Trump gained four approval points overall, with record high approval in his own party. The impeachment failure has a long-term benefit, too. It should be clear to both parties that impeachment should never again be weaponized for one political party to retaliate against the president of another party. The lack of bipartisan support in the House set off alarm bells from the very beginning, but the Democrats just didn't care. They were desperate for a cheap win. They ignored the constitutional reality that no president can be impeached and removed without significant support across the board. The impeachment of Trump never had that support. Instead, Democrat leaders with delusions of grandeur thought they could make this into another Watergate, like when President Nixon was forced to resign amid the threats of impeachment. But our society no longer takes as gospel truth the liberal television news and other media the way we did in the early 1970s. Public approval of Congress has been abysmal in recent years, but it was not much higher during the Watergate era. The lack of public confidence in the media is what made the difference. The media lost their power to spin the news during an impeachment proceeding. Public confidence that the media will report the news fully, accurately, and fairly dropped to 41% last September prior to the impeachment, and only 15% among Republicans, according to a Gallup poll. Two decades ago, a whopping 55% of Americans had confidence in the fairness of the media. The moral of this story should be very clear. President Trump has broken the backs of the media giants. No one is against real news being shared. We all believe reporters have an important role to play in American society. However, if they want to give the news, they have to back it up with facts. If they want to give opinions, they should run for office. Americans aren't under their spell anymore. This has been the Phyllis Schlafly Report from Phyllis Schlafly Eagles. The hypocrisy and lies of the liberal media are alarming and even incite public unrest. But the fake news and the commentators who slant coverage are finally being exposed. At phyllisschlafly.com, we promise to provide timely alerts and take effective action on your behalf. That's phyllisschlafly.com. Thanks for listening, and join us next time for the Phyllis Schlafly Report. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two Patriot Radio News Hour. You got to wake up. Listen, I've been doing this a long time, you know. And as Eric said, uh, numbers is kind of my thing. We've never, 
seen something like this. This is not going to be a quick bounce back. It doesn't work this way. Uh, most of these small businesses are not going to reopen. Uh, and when they do, the problem is when they do, the business is going to be half or a third of what it was, and they're going to turn around and close right back down again. Not to mention, what happens this winter? Are we gonna, is it going to come back? All these things you hear on TV uh, about uh, this and, and, and treatment and all that, we're a year away. That's, a, that's as fast as the FDA can move. Normally, to get a vaccine, you're talking about years. Uh, and this is on the fast track, but it's going to take a long, long time. And all these other dominoes are starting to fall. Today, it's corn. Corn prices absolutely getting obliterated. Uh, the reason? Gas, right? Ethanol. Uh, there is no gas purchases. Uh, they've fallen off of a cliff. I know the president's given everyone hope about, you know, the Saudis and the Russians cutting 10 million barrels a day. That doesn't work. That would be the Saudis and the Russians would have to cut half of their production apiece. You know, they both the Saudi the Saudis do about 11 million barrels. The Russians do about 10 million barrels. To cut 10 million barrels, uh, you'd have to have both of them cut half. That's not going to happen. Saudi Arabia is trying to get a meeting together. They're, they, they, it's almost impossible to be able to cut this kind of product because it, it just it's not how the oil markets work. Look here in the United States. We're doing 13 million barrels a day. Naturally, you'd say, well, just you know, slow down production. Quit making, pumping this much oil. Out of it. it doesn't work that way. All of these people bought all this stuff. They borrowed the money. They got to make payments. They got The, the well's got to pump. And and so it's just creating all of these other things that you never thought about, right? We always think about the bars and the restaurants. You know, we've been talking about the opioids, but you know what? We don't talk about, you know, the retail workers. We don't talk about what about the, the landlords and how many people, how many people this week didn't make a rent payment or didn't make a mortgage payment? This is something the nation, we've never seen it. People go like, oh, yeah, well, we saw, you know, financial crisis that happened. Didn't happen that way. People lost their homes over a period of time because first they, they, they exhausted all they had. They went, they, they spent their 401K. They, they, they took out their IRA. They borrowed money from their parents or a relative. I mean, they did everything they could, and, and, and it was a gradual thing. We're, no, we've never seen all of a sudden 10 million people stop paying their rent or 10 million people stop paying their mortgage and all these retailers and all these restaurants and all these others that just stop paying and the ramifications of all of these things. And, and so uh, I'm warning you. I, I know you, you wanted to feel good because Wall Street, you know, Wall Street at least had stopped the collapse. That, and that, again, temporary. The, the realities are we haven't even seen the bad day. I just told you that job losses were 700,000. And everybody's like, oh, that's nothing, right? We're, we're waiting for the number next month to be 10 million, right? And these are things, this, and we've never seen it before. Uh, none of this stuff is priced in, and everyone's talking about, you know, and Eric did a great thing. The government doesn't run business. They don't know how to get the people the money. They can't figure it out. They Just last night, they had to bribe the banks and give a, the banks more money because the banks are like, hey, listen, and I get to where the banks are coming. I want to bash the banks on it, but I get where they're coming from on this because they're like, hey, it takes manpower to do all this stuff and, you know, get the paperwork done. Well, you got to give us a bigger cut on all of this stuff. I don't know where this ends up. Eventually, it will end. But you need to understand a couple of things. If you're using Wall Street as your barometer of when, you're fooling yourself. And number two, the ramifications of all the debt that got created, not just by the government, by the central bank. See the Federal Reserve's balance sheet? It's now $6 trillion. It's going up. $500 billion a week, Eric, every week. Another 500 another 500 another 500 billion. And it, and it doesn't end. Have you got anything yet? Nothing. How many people have filled out stuff? I'd like to know. I mean, it's interesting. So you can uh, send us uh, info on it. Listen, I filled out something for the radio station. He did for the radio station. We should. If NPR gets $35 million to run that crampy little broadcast they run, 
then uh, we should be able to get something as well for the public airways. We are filling a need that's out there. So do I think we're going to get anything? No. No. <laughs> I don't. So, so who knows what's going to happen. Listen, this is unheard of. I want to get going on this now. Unheard of. Unheard of. Nobody can do this that I know of in the country. I'm starting to sound like Trump. It's spectacular. It's great. I'm the only one that does everything just perfect. It's the greatest. It's the best ever. But it is. How about this? A roll of silver eagles and a tenth ounce American gold eagle. So you get a little $5 U.S. American gold eagle and a roll of U.S. silver eagles. Yes, they are not a myth. We have found them. Actual silver eagles. Actual silver eagles in their treasury rolls, either 2019s or 2020s. We don't know yet. I'll pick them. We'll know when we pick them up today. Delivered. Credit card fees. All-inclusive. Everything. 785 bucks. 25 package. So we got one kit. You, you bought We're trying case. to do every, I bought the whole case. Wow. <laughs> do you we, know what kind of strings case. that I had to pull to find this? So here they are. We've got to be the only people in the country that can offer them. We have them. Um, we'll be able to fill instant deliveries by this Listen, afternoon. We're the so, only, very few people in the country have a tenth ounce and even less have a roll of silver. Can't buy one. Anywhere. U.S. Mint's closed. You can't buy any of this. Now, is it cheap? No. <laughs> but it's not that expensive. I mean, if you wanted to buy. $85. Everything's included. You put it on your credit card. You send a check, shipping's included, everything's included. Listen, if it makes you feel better, take one out, send it off to PCGS, spend $40 to have them certify it, go get yourself a television show, and stick it up for $300. (laughs) That's not bad. It's only $6,000 a roll. Plus, you get the $5 gold piece for free. So $785 delivered. Credit card fees, everything. You have to. You have to call. If you're going to call, put it on a card. If you're going to pick it up, let us know. 1-800-951-0592. You don't understand. You're not going to get rich quick. It's not Bitcoin. It's not GLD. It's not SLV. It's just real. It's just real. You own it. You hold it. And you put it away. Do you have any idea what can really happen here? What I think is going to happen? That they are going to flood this society with money. It's the only thing they can do. We've already seen what happens when Federal Reserve notes, debt-laden fiat Federal Reserve notes, become stronger. They don't like it. In other words, real estate markets crash. You can buy things for 40 cents on the dollar. It's going the other way for everything. It'll be the final cycle for the Federal Reserve note. Everybody knows it. And you're going to see it. Better put away some real money while you can. Patriot Radio News Hour on a Friday, rocking and firing. Thanks for tuning in with us. We're doing the best we can in a world gone mad. We'll be back after these messages. So, yeah, support the advertisers. They need the business. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. Eric and Arlene are both out on the phone. If you want to get in on this, do it now. Uh, we've got a roll of U.S. Silver Eagles and a one tenth ounce gold eagle. So you get a tenth ounce gold piece, a roll of silver eagles. It's seven hundred eighty five dollars. Credit card fees included in that. Shipping's include. Everything's included in that. Pay for it how you want. We want to put it on your card. Uh, you want to pick up a ship, it doesn't matter. It's 785 bucks. no matter what you do. Uh, we had 25 I know. I don't know where we're at now, but, but again, we've got two lines open. Uh, Eric and Arlene are both taking phone calls, 800-951-0592 uh, is, is the toll-free number. Right now, gold's up 10. Again, we, let me tell you what's going on and remind everybody. If you go out to our website and and you see uh, we have the Kitco ticker uh, embedded into our website, that price is not accurate. Um, We have a huge problem in the physical gold markets. We've talked about it before. Listen, there's no gold. That's just what it is. And my worry is 
we're going to find out. You know, they want to try to tell you, oh, no, well, it's just not in the right form or it's just in the – listen, it's a shortage, and the shortage is they don't have enough of the physical goal. Jeff Gunlatch, yesterday, I, I was telling you yesterday, warning everybody about gold ETFs and saying that, he, you know, speculating that there's no way these guys can have the gold put away that, you know, they're averaging like 16 tons a day going into ETFs, and Gunlets is worried the physical gold markets could end up being busted. And when that happened, you know, Eric's been talking about it. He's worried any day there could be a three, five thousand dollars pops in the price uh, of the silver. Uh, same thing's going to happen in silver. Mexico announced the largest silver mine in the world. Uh, production is being halted. I think we're going to see... Uh, a lot of problems now in the physical markets in both gold and silver. Uh, right now, we're looking at the June contract. So if you go out to CNBC, uh, this is what they'll show. If you're ever watching the stock channels in the morning, they're all showing the June contracts. Uh, right now, gold's up. Uh, it's up 8 right this second, 1646. Uh, silver right now is 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 pretty flat today, uh, fifteen dollars and fifty eight cents. The Dow is down four hundred and twenty. The S and P down forty seven. The Nasdaq's down a hundred and thirty six. As uh, today is the day the small business loans were supposed to get started. Uh, I filled out some paperwork uh, days ago. Uh, with my bank for the radio station and with nothing. All I got from my bank is a, a, just this generic email saying we don't have any details. We don't know how it's all going to work. Uh, we had the jobless numbers down 700,000. Uh, and really, I think after April's number, all the job gains, all of them, uh, for the Trump administration are going to be gone, and and really we'll be going into the Obama numbers. Uh, these numbers are going to be astronomical. I already told you, and I've I've had a pretty good beat on this. I told you five million a month, you know, and then it's, remember the first one was three point three, and I said that's not accurate. And then of course now six point six. I think we're going to get another five uh, next Thursday. Uh, and by the end of April, I, I fully expect the number to be uh, somewhere around 25 million into May. Uh, don't be surprised if we get to 40 to 50 million. Let's hope not. Uh, but if we shut, if we're shut down through all of May, that we're going to see 40 to 50 million people out of work. That's about a third of the country, and that's why we keep laughing about you know this two trillion dollars. It's nowhere close to enough. Uh, the amount of spending is going to have to ratchet itself up. Uh, the central bank uh, announced that their balance sheet now has eclipsed $6 trillion. Uh, they've added now $1.5 trillion in just the last three weeks. So, you know, public school education, that's $500 billion a week that they're creating out of thin air just to keep these markets open. Listen, don't kid yourself. The commercial real estate market would cease to exist today with, with, with what's happening. The mortgage market would be gone. Uh, there, no one would, would take a loan on anything. The banks, you know, there's no the liquidity is not there. The liquidity is being given to them by by the Federal Reserve. They just uh, changed the liquidity requirements just the other day. Why? Because the banks aren't having the cash. All of these companies are drawing down their revolvers, and and the banks don't have cash. And there's not enough. You know, think about it. I'm just we're talking about, you know, twenty five to 35% of the country being out of work. We don't know for how long. The, the, the thing is, is what people don't understand is every week it goes on. Another 1% to 2% of these companies that shut their doors won't reopen. Every week you add another 1% or 2%, one or 2%, or 2%, another 1% or 2%. And, and pretty soon you're shut for eight weeks. Hey, all of a sudden 10, 15, 20% of these companies don't reopen. 
And, of course, when they finally do reopen, what is the volume going to look like? Who's getting on an airplane, right? Who, who's who's, who's going to say, let me go book a cruise, right? Let me, I know, let's go out and eat at the restaurant next to everybody else. And, and this is the problem. This is going to be a big, long grind. We haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg about what the government and the Federal Reserve is going to do. Eric, Look, you're back. Yeah, just you? quick update, okay? Give us a credit card on this package. Don't say you're going to pick it up at the radio station pay there. Jason's just too busy. So it's included shipping, okay? It's included credit card fees. Just give us your address. We'll ship them right out of here because it's only the silver's only here. We don't right. have Let it up there. Let me tell you so. what's going to happen. So. I will have this product. I already have the 10th ounce here. I will have the Silver Eagles here today. A couple hours. In a couple of hours, we'll start working on it. We'll get these things out ASAP. We're selling out. Call us. Get in. Get a credit card number. We'll ship them straight out. It's a 785 included shipping everything. We're just we're doing what we can do. That way, nobody has to go anywhere. It just shows up in your house. By the time you get it next week, who knows what this is going to be worth. We'll be back. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. A couple of headlines uh, crossing the tape here. Russia says that ten million dollar or ten million barrel production cut is doable, but the U.S. would have to be a big part of that equation. And then Bank of America, QE versus unemployment equals nothing but soaring inflation that will crush the dollar. And it, it, there's a guy sitting next to me that's been telling you this for the last 10 days. How can people believe this is not going to be the outcome? I mean, it's the most blatant O2, even not even 101 business class, 029 of supply and demand. So you're just going to flood the economy with money. And they, once they figure out how to do it, this is the issue right now. This is why you haven't seen the huge explosion in the in the hard asset markets because they haven't figured out how to do it yet. But when they do, and they will, that it's just going to be everywhere. And when the, all the people decide, just like what we've seen, the toilet paper model, when they all decide that this is what they want all at once, and people they think in the herd mentality, and they all go like a you know flock of geese. They all turn one way and go. This is what the country's going to do, and then go running over there, and then over there. And I mean, it's going to be nuts, nuts. It is nuts. But this America, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. I have to tell you, the generation that is now coming of age, maybe akin to the generation my father, who was born in 1929, right at the December, right after the stock market crash. I mean, they were a different bunch of people, weren't they? Maybe. You know, some good will come out of this. The dumbing down of the masses may actually have to figure out how to become self-sufficient, how to put American factories in, how to get these moron liberals out of the way so we can put this country back and right this ship and get this thing going in the right direction. And as we found out, as I've been pointing out, and I'm glad to be back out of retirement because I've watched the socioeconomic destruction of America. We've watched the uh, big business, the... Uh, the Rothschilds, the Bilderbergers, I mean, the list just goes on and on. The, the planks, the manifestos, everything come to fruition. And people just sat still for it. Now everybody's locked down, man. Everybody's locked down. How long are they going to stay locked down? How long are we going to keep doing this? And when they, if they rise up, like the song Mike and the Mechanics, teach the children quietly, someday sons and daughters will rise up. We may be seeing this. We're going to find out, aren't we? So at what point, at what point do you give away an entire country for safety or for not getting sick? It's uh, one of the oldest adages of the founders of the Constitution. If you trade your freedom for safety, you deserve neither. 1-800-951-0592. We're doing all we can do. Doing all you. I mean, you know, we're, we're working at very tight markups. We're getting the product out. You know, you roll of silver eagles doesn't exist. doesn't even exist anywhere. You can pretend, customers will pretend, that uh, the dealers will pretend they'll sell them to you, but maybe sometime in the next couple of years you'll get them or you'll get an MS-70 or you'll get something. Because by law, they have to ship you something. Joe, how many packages we got left? Eight. We got eight packages left. So call us, put it on a credit card. includes delivery. So the more you buy, the better off you are. So, uh, well, I don't want someone to buy all eight. So you can have two. So everybody orders two. You get a $5 U.S. American Eagle. 
and you get a roll of U.S. $20 Silver Eagles. Everybody's been wanting uh, Eagles calling in here, calling in here, looking all over the country, trying to buy them on eBay. I've heard every every horror story. Every horror story. And even the fake Eagles they mail, and they call it good. Lots of fake product out there. Be very careful, Joe. God bless you, man. Thanks for uh, giving me this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. And another weekend. Gotta just hang in there. Keep your thoughts about you. Be smart. Make the right decisions. We're trying to help you financially, spiritually, morally. Work really hard at it. Be a shining beacon for your family. God bless everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.